Hi again, Golden Flashes fans, and welcome to KentStateSports.com's Flashback. For this week, it is Akron Week on the campus of Kent State University. We'll talk about that in just a bit. First of all, we tell you the recap of the Golden Flashes women's golf team, putting the finishing touches on the fall schedule, moving into the spring by finishing 12th out of a field of 15 at the Betsy Rawls Invitational held at the Longhorn Golf Club in Austin. And as I mentioned, they'll be done now throughout the rest of the fall and winter. They'll pick back up along with our men's golf teams February and March for the spring campaign. The Golden Flashes cross-country runners taking part this November 12th at the Great Lakes Regional in the NCAA. Again, that's November 12th in Toledo. Tournament Madness alive and well in MAC field hockey. Kent State knocking off Central Michigan in the tournament semifinals down in Athens on Friday by a final score of 4-1. to one. That propelled the field hockey team into the MAC championship against top-seeded Ohio. And with a match tied at 1, the Bobcats secure the walk-off goal in overtime to clinch the MAC's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. So the Flashes battled all the way until the end, but succumbed on the road to the top-seeded Bobcats, and so the season comes to a close. And speaking of Athens, that's where the Golden Flashes Spikers were able to hold a 2-1 to lead in set advantage against the Ohio Bobcats at the Convocation Center. Unfortunately, though, with a mark of a champion and a perennial favorite, the Ohio Bobcats rallied to win the final two to win it in five, three to two. Undaunted though, Glenn Conley's club takes on Eastern Michigan. That goes five, the flashes end up on the positive side, this time winning it three sets to two. For her efforts and for her 43 kills on the weekend, Megan Larson, the Mid-American Conference East Division Offensive Player of the Week. Now it's a wagon wheel event on Friday right here at the MAG Center at 7 o'clock p.m. We invite you to join us as the Flashes will take on the Zips. Kent State's got a little bit of payback in mind for Akron winning earlier this year over at the JAR. Then Kent State will wrap it up with a matchup against Buffalo on Saturday at the same time. And Kent State continues its winning November ways in football thanks to a missed field goal with five seconds remaining by the Central Michigan Chippewas, securing a Kent State victory 24-21. And the Flashes have now won back-to-back Mid-American Conference games against the Chips and the Bowling Green Falcons. In the win against Central Michigan, Spencer Keith was phenomenal. He tallied 281 yards through the air, a trio of touchdowns, including a beauty to Chris Gilbert to give the Flashes a lead, they would not relinquish. Kent State hopes that that fine play continues this weekend into the Wagon Wheel game, where it will look for its first ever victory at InfoCision Stadium on the campus of the University of Akron. That game kicks off at 2 over in Summit County. Make plans to join us as the Flashes try to hold on to the Wagon Wheel. And as we make that transition from our fall season into some of the early season moments for the winter sports teams, we talk first of all about the Golden Flashes wrestlers. We'll be heading to South Central Pennsylvania this weekend for the Wrestle for a Cure duels, and they're going to have to have it ready right off of the bat because they've got a tough schedule looking them in the eye, taking on the University of Nebraska, then University of Illinois, and then the Naval Academy. That again is coming up on Saturday. And the Golden Flashes men's basketball team in its only dress rehearsal before next week's opening act against West Virginia. The Flashes handled Rochester College 76-63. Mark Henniger, the sophomore, was just two rebounds shy of a double-double. He tallied 13 points and eight rebounds in the effort that saw a lot of the Golden Flashes get significant minutes. And speaking of tip-offs, there you have it. The Golden Flashes women open it up at Marshall at the Henderson Center in Huntington, West Virginia. And the Golden Flashes go to the Coliseum to take on the West Virginia Mountaineers in a special 10 a.m. tip. It's basketball time here at Kent State, and we hope you're excited about the prospects of two very fun seasons as we are. I'm Ty Linder for the KentStateSports.com Flashback. Go Flashes!